COVID-19, of course there's flu season, and you can't count out the rise in RSV cases. All those things add up to what doctors are calling a triple demic. And what does that really mean? And how concerned should you be about it? Well, for today's To Your Wellbeing, we're joined by Dr. Angela Basagolupo with the Burlington Family Practice. So let's kind of just start right there. Triple demic. We hear it. It sounds like a big crazy word. Explain what that term means. Yeah, I think you you kind of described it well. It's it's seeing rises in cases of all three of those illnesses, COVID, flu, and RSV, and overlapping all at the same time. All right, so what is the likelihood of this happening this winter? Um, or are we already actually experiencing this? Is it just happening? Are we in it? Yeah, we're already seeing rises in all three of those illnesses. So, of course, you know, COVID has never gone away. We continue to see COVID cases in our patients um, regularly, and we are expecting a, another surge of that later this winter. Um, we're already seeing a record rise in our flu cases much earlier in the season than we typically do. And then our RSV cases are really high, especially in our pediatric population currently. All right, so out of those three conditions, you got the COVID-19, the RSV, and the flu, is there one that is more prevalent in our area right now? Well, I think they're, they're all pretty prevalent and we're seeing them in different populations. Like I said, pediatric population and elderly folks are more likely to be affected by RSV more severely. Um, and then we're seeing flu cases in all demographics and we continue to see COVID cases in all of them. Okay, and so I think to myself, just like what we asked about, you know, COVID and everybody just kind of gave their best guess of their forecast of this. How long is this triple demic supposed to last? Yeah, and you're right. It's all best guess based on models and things like that. But current models are looking like we'll see this throughout our typical flu season. So RSV and flu season have always overlapped and that's typically October, November through March, April, sometimes May depends. So most of the fall and winter. All right, so we're gonna continue to talking about this triple demic. What do we do about it? We're all gonna be getting together in 10 days. What kinds of things can we do to like keep the exposure down and so that we don't all come back in December being sick. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be back with the good doctor in just a minute. And we are back with Dr. Angela Bassi Galupo from Burlington Family Practice. So this is the To Your Well-Being, and we're talking about the so-called triple demic. So let's talk about what we can do about it. So community members, how do we help prevent the triple demic uh, or decrease the length of it? Yeah, I think prevention is is the most important piece of this because we, you know. Early in COVID, we saw those rise in hospital numbers and we worried about our hospitals filling up and we don't wanna get there again this year, right? So to me, I'll touch on three different ways you can help prevent this. So first thing is good hand hygiene, good cough etiquette. If you're sick, stay home, don't bring it into your colleagues or your child's school. Um, when you're coughing, cough into your elbow, not your hand and be sure to wash your hands regularly. Um, second most important thing is, is getting your vaccines for these illnesses. So um, the COVID vaccine, there's a new bivalent booster, which gives some Omicron variant coverage. That's out there and available at retail pharmacies and some primary care offices. And then the flu shot is also widely available to everybody. That's in primary care offices and at the pharmacies. Um, and the third thing is um, masking up. Consider putting your mask back on if you're gonna be indoors in crowded areas, um, if you're immunosuppressed or live with someone who's at high risk for complications from these illnesses. All right, so definitely getting the flu shot or the COVID shot if you can before all that happens. Now, if some folks are like saying, you know what, I'm not planning on getting them before I see everybody or I just don't have time in uh, you know, the schedule to do that, you have any advice for them? Yeah, I, mean, I think it's never too late to get these vaccines. You know, I think it is wise to think about them before large family gatherings we all have coming up for the holidays, but, but it's not too late. And if you have questions or concerns about it, I encourage you to talk to your primary care physician. So let's talk about how important it is to seek care when you do start feeling bad. And at what point do you have to seek care or just stay home? 
Yeah, like, like I mentioned earlier, the most important thing is to stay home if you're feeling ill and not bring it and spread it to other people. I think we learned a lot about that through COVID. Um, and then if you're, you're feeling unwell and you, you can give your primary care physician a call and they can kind of triage you and make sure you're getting the care that you need. Right, there's a lot of teledoc out there too, so that is helpful if you can't get an appointment. Right, what if someone doesn't have a health care provider at all? Should they just go to the emergency room if they feel like their sickness is severe enough? Yeah, well, we really want to save the emergency departments for real medical emergencies. And so I'd encourage you, if you have flu or COVID symptoms, to um, call your primary care office. If you don't have one, we want to make that easy for you at Cone Health. So you can go to conehealth.com slash appointments and you can find either our virtual care or find a primary care physician that way. Okay, because I was about to kind of ask you what other op options are available at Cone Health. So let's talk a little bit about that virtual care. Yeah, we have a whole team dedicated, a whole team of providers dedicated to virtual care. So we have what we call virtual urgent care. We have um, e-visits, which are form-based. Um, and then a lot of our primary care offices also have virtual care options. Okay, and if you're feeling a little bit under the weather and everybody says, oh, come on anyway and join us, you say? You say, no, thank you. <laughs> I'd like to be healthy. <laughs> Please make me a plate and I will uh, FaceTime you and we'll just do it that way. Yeah, yeah, I love using the technology so you can connect with your family if you can't be there in person. All right, well, we thank you so much. Is there any last words before we go about the triple demic, about the flu, the RSV, or the COVID-19? Yeah, I'll just reemphasize the prevention. So get your shots, keep yourself protected, and consider wearing your mask. Okay, gotcha. We so appreciate your time and your expertise. Uh, we don't want you to miss any of the information that we talked about here. So in just a few moments, we're gonna have everything that we just talked about on our website. You can share it with friends and family. Just head over to the To Your Wellbeing section.